Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's winter weather update. So, our two winter storms continue to move across the United States this evening, and opening up with the National Weather Service's watches, warnings, and advisories map, winter weather advisories continue in the purple areas across portions of California, Oregon, and Washington State, much of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, into southern South Dakota, northern Nebraska, northwestern Iowa, uh, far northern Utah in the purples, and then we have more winter weather advisories in northeastern Missouri and west central Illinois as well. Winter weather advisories in the upper peninsula of Michigan and northern uh, mainland Michigan. And then we have winter weather advisories in southwestern Maine, central northern New Hampshire, most of Vermont, and northern New York State with our Alberta Clipper moving through that area. And then we have uh, winter weather advisories in southern New Jersey, the Philadelphia area of Pennsylvania, northern Delaware, and then winter storm watches in northern Virginia, northeastern West Virginia, northwestern Maryland, southeastern Pennsylvania in the blues. And then we have oh, wind advisories across most of Pennsylvania, New York State, southwestern New England in the Tans, as well as northeastern West Virginia, uh, winter storm warnings in the pinks in the Adirondacks of New York State, and then winter storm warnings across the Cascades of Oregon, South Central uh, Montana, the Yellowstone National Park area of Wyoming, and southeastern Wyoming in the Pinks Far Eastern Idaho. And then we have some avalanche warnings in central Idaho, eastern Idaho in the blues, and northern Colorado. And then we have some uh, wind chill advisories in the northern fringes of Montana in the cyan colors. So taking a look at the current radar as of this evening, uh, our western winter storm is bringing a snow across Oregon and southern Washington this evening uh, in the Cascades and to the east of the Cascades with rain falling in areas like Portland, Salem, Oregon, Eureka, California, and Seattle, Washington. We see snow moving across Missoula, Missouri into areas like Helena and Great Falls and some snow around Spokane, Washington, rain around Boise, Idaho, snow or isolated snow showers in the Great Basin, western Colorado, Wyoming. And then our main energy is moving across South Dakota down to Nebraska this evening, bringing a swath of light to moderate snow to those areas, with some light snow to the west of Des Moines and southwest of Sioux Falls. And then we have our main Alberta Clipper system, bringing a wave of moderate to heavy snow across the northeast, where we see a uh, Heavy snow moving through areas like Utica, New York, Albany, New York, to the east of Binghamton and Syracuse, New York. Snow showers moving through Wilkes-Barre. And then we see snow moving into Vermont, into Massachusetts and Connecticut as our Alberta Clipper system rapidly pushes to the east. Snow will begin in Boston and Providence in the next hour or so. So timing out our winter storm through the evening in the 18Z run of the HRRR model, our snowstorm will continue to push to the east across the northeast. By about 9 to 10 o'clock, it'll be snowing in Boston, Providence, Hartford, uh, and most of New Hampshire. And then as we go through about a midnight tonight eastern time, our system will elongate and slow down with snow continuing across New, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and the eastern New England. And then a snow will push to the east of southeastern New England by about 3 a.m. Eastern time tonight, but snow will continue in northern New England and New York. And snow will continue through the morning across Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, before we see our snow exit by tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, our second storm system is going to start spreading snow into Ohio and Pennsylvania as we go through the afternoon tomorrow. And going to about 10 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow night, it'll be snowing across most of Pennsylvania, uh, northern West Virginia, southeastern Ohio, northwestern Maryland, and then snow will spread across New Jersey into New York City as we go into about 2 a.m. Eastern Time a Saturday morning. Heavy snow across D.C. and Baltimore as well, and then going into about 5 a.m., a quick burst of very heavy snow across New Jersey, Long Island, New York City with lighter snow in eastern Pennsylvania, southeastern New York State, southern New England, and then the snow will push to the southeast 
as we go through the morning Saturday with a burst of lake effect snow moving in by 1 p.m. a Saturday afternoon across most of New York, Pennsylvania into uh, Ohio and West Virginia. So timing out our Midwestern and Ohio Valley snowstorm, uh, snow will begin to move across Illinois and Indiana as we're waking up Friday morning between 7 and 9 a.m. Central Time with heavy snow moving across Indianapolis through South Bend, perhaps into Chicago as well, and then going into about uh, 1 p.m. Central Time uh, Friday tomorrow, snow spreading across Ohio into Columbus, heavy snow in Indianapolis, snow across most of Illinois, and then heavy sleet and snow will move into Kentucky as we go into about 5 to 6 o'clock uh, tomorrow evening, heavy snow across Louisville, moving towards Lexington, snow across Cincinnati through Columbus into Pittsburgh, and then going into about uh, 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, heavy snow across the northwestern half of Kentucky, heavy sleet in the dividing line, and snow across southeastern uh, Indiana, most of Ohio, Pennsylvania, moving into northwestern Maryland, West Virginia. And then as we go through about 10, 11, 12, uh, midnight, Friday night, Saturday morning, very heavy snow across northern Virginia, northwestern Maryland, West Virginia, eastern Kentucky, uh, much of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, light snow moving into New York City once again. And then going into about 3 a.m., going to be seeing a heavy, a burst of very heavy snow in Washington, D.C. through Baltimore, New Jersey, the Del Marva, heavy snow across eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina, into Long Island. And then as we're going to 5 a.m., heavy snow continues in the eastern Del Marva through Long Island and New York City. And then the snow will move away as we go into Saturday. So taking a look at snowfall accumulations in the 18Z run of the HRRR model, looking at about two to four inches of snow in western Maine, and about three to seven inches of snow across Vermont and New Hampshire, across central northern New York State. We're looking at about five to 10 inches of snow, and some isolated locations could see up to a foot of snow in the Adirondacks. And then across Pennsylvania, we're looking at about uh, one to two inches of snow in northern and western Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, Long Island, and then across eastern, southern, and southwestern, southeastern Pennsylvania. We're looking at about three to seven inches of snow accumulation in central southern New Jersey, about three to five inches of snow. And we could see a little a snow hole across southeastern New England. So for my snow lovers, let's hope that this does not verify. And looking at snowfall accumulations further south, looking at a good uh, one to three inches of snow across Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, with some areas seeing as much as four to five inches of snow, into West Virginia, into eastern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, into the Del Marva, and then about uh, four to five inches of snow in northern Virginia and uh, northern Maryland, and then across northeastern West Virginia, western Maryland, southwestern Pennsylvania, going to be seeing a bullseye of about six to ten inches of snow in this location. So thanks for watching this evening's winter weather update. Uh, make sure you're preparing for these snowstorms across the uh, United States. And if you're a snow lover, uh, make sure to enjoy the snow. Uh, thanks for watching. Please stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.